Welcome. This is God's Anointed One Ministry. I'm your host, Evangelist Anna Glover, and I'm here today to share a word with you, to give you some encouragement, to let you know that God loves you, and so do I. Our lesson today is going to be about counting up the cost. Have you ever stopped to think about how we have to count up the cost of just normal living? We have a home. We have the light bills. We have the gas bills. If you go out and you buy a car, you got to think about the car note. You got to think about keeping the car up the maintenance to it. Uh, you got to think about the insurance on your car, and on your home. Uh, you got to think about what if a disaster comes and takes away that house or takes away that um, car that you have. It's temporal and it's only for a moment and it's gone. But when we stop and think about Jesus, how he counted up the cost, when he said that he would come down and die for us, when God loved us so much that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He who was without sin counted up the cross by coming down and giving his life uh, just for us. Think about how Jesus died on the cross for each and every one of us. He who was without sin, sin took our sins upon him upon himself he was willing to pay the price for us to have a right to eternal salvation he had already counted up the cost when he said not my will father but your will be done he had counted up the cost when he said no man take my life but i lay it down and in the same way i lay it down i pick it back up again he counted up the cost when he said father forgive them for they know not what they do he counted up the cost when he said it is finished and he gave up the ghost paid in full that price for us to have salvation all we have to do is give of ourselves to him that's all he wants us to do. Turn our life totally over to him. Everything we say, everything that we do, we do it as unto the Lord. I was thinking about a situation of a young lady who had received a ticket one time. And the ticket, uh, let's say, was for two, uh, just a few dollars because it was a parking ticket. And she forgot about it. And as time passed, she received uh, a warrant for her to come in about this ticket. And of course, when she went to pay the ticket, she wind up paying hundred uh, over a hundred some odd dollars because she had to pay court costs. She had neglected doing what she was supposed to, hadn't counted up the cost of what was going to happen by her neglecting to pay for this ticket when it first was given to her. We have got to do the same thing about counting up the cost for us in our lives in the way that we live. We've got to live to please God. We've got to live so that 
others can see the Christ that is in us. We've got to live a holy life. We got to live a godly life. We can't be just uh, someone procrastinating and pretending or being an imitator. Uh, one moment we're in the church and the next moment we're raising hell. That is not about God. We think about how we feel like we got to have a mansion here when God has a mansion in store up in glory for each and every one of us. We think we have to have a vehicle here. There, the streets are paved with gold. We're not going to need no car. All we're going to need is to be able to worship and bow down and praise the Lord. And that's all that's going to be required of us is to worship him and to give him glory and to give him honor. That's the cost that is, we can say has been counted up. I would rather count up the cost of giving my life to someone that when I get to heaven, not only that, those big pearly white gates. Think about how the joy of the Lord is our strength right now. Think about how we praise him right now. Have you counted up the cost of giving up your life to him? That when we give our all to him, he's going to give. He's already not going to. He's already given his all to us. The word of God says, whom the son set free is free indeed. So our cost was free and it's been paid in full. All we got to do is be faithful in our walk for him, giving up everything that stands in the way of glorifying God, standing in the way of worshiping him standing in the way of others seeing the Christ that is in us. Have you counted up the cost? Think about it. I count it. Our cost is nothing compared to what God did for us and what he is still doing for us, loving us. Even when we do wrong, he forgives us when we repent and he still gives us an opportunity to make things right with him. Have you counted up the cost of living a life that is faithful, that is truthful, that will glorify God? Who would not want to live a life that's pleasing to God? Oh, how wonderful is our Lord and our Savior one who died so that I and so that you could have eternal salvation. I don't know about you, but I don't want to open up my eyes in hell. I want to be where the Father is. I want to be with the other saints, glorifying magnifying and worshiping God, thinking about how the angels being there with the angels as they clap their hands, as they uh, their wings are, are, are coming together, praising the Lord. I can just imagine, oh, how wonderful this would be, being able to be with the Father forever and ever and ever. My cost Oh, I don't mind counting up the cost to be able to have that kind of salvation. It's all right with me knowing that I'm going to have everlasting life. I thank God. Have you counted up the cost as to whether or not you will serve a true and living God? Or how have you counted up the cost as to giving up everything and having eternal life 
rather than staying in the state that you're in and having eternal damnation. I don't know about you, but I choose Christ. I choose living for Christ. I pray that you will make a right choice as you count up the cost of your life and what it's all about, that you will think about it. Think about how good it will be serving the true and living God, knowing that even though this body may die, our soul will go back to him and to know that we're going to live forever and ever with him and not be one that's busting hell wide open. I've counted up the cost of giving of my life to the true and living God. We pray that this has been a blessing to you. If you don't know who the Lord is, I want you to know right now, you can have him right where you are. All you have to do is give yourself to the Lord. Read Romans 9, 9 and 10. The word of God will let you know if we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, we shall be saved. We shall be saved. For with the mouth, for with the mouth, confession is made unto righteousness. And with our hearts, it believes unto salvation. We have got to give it all over to the Lord. I don't know about you, but I've counted up the cost of real and unreal. And for me, I choose God. I choose to live a life that's pleasing to Him. I choose to live a life that will give me eternal salvation. Have you counted up the cost? If you have not, I advise you right now to fall on your knees and repent and ask God to come into your heart so that you can be saved and then get somewhere where you can be taught the word of God, taught how to live a godly and a holy life. This is Evangelist Anna Glover. My email address is God's Anointed, the number 121 at gmail.com. Again, that email address is God's Anointed, the number 121 at gmail.com. All we ask that you do is to subscribe to God's Anointed Ministries. We ask that you share with others, pass this on, and we ask that if you are not living right, that you would turn your life around and live for God. And don't forget to praise Him, to pray, to read your word, meditate upon it, share it with others, and after you share it, make those small changes in your life. God bless you, and we love you again. This is your host, Evangelist Anna Glover, and until we come to you again, you be blessed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord.